Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. Today I'm going to tell you guys why it is taking a long time for your engine to warm up. If your engine is running cold, most likely the computer is going to trigger a P0128 code. Basically, coolant temperature is just too low. The most common problem is going to be a stuck open thermostat or the thermostat may just be missing and it's not there. So basically, if the thermostat is stuck open or it is missing, it's going to allow coolant to constantly circulate around the cooling system during startup. It is important for that thermostat to remain closed at startup because this could allow coolant to sit inside the engine block until it reaches operating temperature and then the thermostat can open and allow it to circulate around the cooling system. Because if the thermostat stays open, it's going to cause the engine to overcool and that's going to cause all sorts of issues. The next common problem is going to be a faulty coolant temperature sensor. The purpose and function of the coolant temperature sensor is to measure the coolant temperature in the coolant system. If the coolant temperature sensor is not working properly, it's going to send improper uh, signal to the computer and this may cause the computer to turn on that radiator fan and keep it running at startup. The next common problem is going to be a faulty fan switch. So basically the fan switch is a thermistor, exactly just like a coolant temperature sensor. Again, its purpose is to measure the uh, coolant temperature and when the temperature exceeds a certain uh, temperature, it's going to kick on that uh, radiator fan. Again, if that fan switch is faulty, it's going to cause that radiator fan to constantly run at startup, again causing overcooling. On a typical vehicle, you're either going to have an electric fan or a fan clutch. So the next common problem is going to be a faulty fan clutch. If there's something wrong with that fan clutch, usually it's mounted on the uh, water pump, it's going to constantly cause the engine to constantly cool, again causing overcooling. So if you suspect that you have, to, you have a faulty fan clutch, go ahead and replace it. The next common problem is going to be some sort of electrical issue. For example, you could have a short somewhere in an electrical system, or maybe you just have a, a, a radiator fan relay that's maybe just faulty and it's causing the radiator fan to constantly run. I hope you found that video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.